4 Maccabees, chapter 12, when he too had undergone blessed martyrdom and died in the cauldron into which he had been thrown, the seventh, the youngest of all, came forward, whom the tyrant pitying, though he had been dreadfully reproached by his kindred, seeing him already encompassed with chains, had him brought nearer, and endeavored to counsel him, saying, You see the end of the madness of your kindred, for they have died in torture through disobedience. You, if disobedient, having been miserably tormented, will yourself perish prematurely. But if you obey, you will be my friend, and have a charge over the affairs of the kingdom. Having thus exhorted him, he sent for the boy's mother, that, by showing compassion to her for the loss of so many sons, he might incline her, through the hope of safety, to render the survivor obedient. He, after his mother had urged him on in the Hebrew tongue, said, Release me that I may speak to the king and all his friends. Kay, rejoicing exceedingly at the promise of the youth, quickly let him go. He, running up to the pans, said, Impious tyrant and most blasphemous man, were you not ashamed, having received prosperity and a kingdom from God, to kill his servants and to rack the doers of godliness? Therefore the divine vengeance is reserving you for eternal fire and torments, which will cling to you for all time. Weren't you ashamed, man as you are, yet most savage, to cut out the tons of men of like feeling and origin, and having thus abused to torture them, that they, bravely dying, fulfilled their religion toward God, that you were grown as you deserve for having slain without cause the champions of virtue. Therefore, he continued, I myself, being about to die, will not forsake my kindred. I call upon the God of my fathers to be merciful to my race, but you, both living and dead, you will punish. Thus having prayed, he hurled himself into the pans, and so expired.